over is about a large scale deploy over the 100 servers in three minutes. Oh, Niha. Oh, this slide is first and last. The slide in Chinese and Japanese. So, self introduction. So, my name is Hiroshi Bata. So, please call me Hiroshi. So, my internet nickname is uh, HSBT. It is used on Twitter and GitHub. So, my job title is uh, Chief Engineer or at uh, GMO Paperboard. So, I have many commit bits such as uh, Ruby and Rake and uh, VGMS and uh, and uh, can just I can repeat and uh, and it's uh, just, uh, so I'm a CLB committer. So I maintain these website too. Uh WW Rang and Bus Rang. This is our but issue tracker of our Ruby core languages and uh, Ruby CI and Raise Guns and Raise Gun JP. So I advertise our uh, Ruby core team. So we are developing to our uh, Ruby 2.4 now. So if you have any issue or future request, please submit our issue tracker and this site. So we hold the core developer meeting every month from last year. So we will discuss your issue with our face-to-face -face meeting. I'm uh, one of the organizer at uh, Saksa RV. So it is most active Ruby meetup in Tokyo every Tuesday. So if you visit Tokyo, Japan, please mention to these, these members on Twitter. So we will pick up you near rest station. And I'm working for GMO Paperball in Japan. GMO Paperboy is Tokyo and Fukuoka based reading tech company that has a strong advantage in technologies, including Ruby related ones such as C Ruby and Rise and M Ruby. So Ruby Kai 2016 is coming to Kyoto in September. You know? So CFP is still open until Sunday. Uh, you have our two days. So please just submit your proposal to Ruby Kai. So we are looking forward to see you Kyoto in Japan. Please do submit. Uh, I need to submit too. Uh, introduction, it ends. So let's talk development strategy for next generation. Uh, in November 2014, uh, CEO and CTO said uh, two years ago, CEO, we are going to promote our service on TV show and TVCM at uh, February 2015. Uh, CTO said uh, to make our service to scale and redundant and, and high performance architecture in three months. Yes, 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 I do it. <laughs> the, uh, but uh, our service status is a simple rails architecture on AWS. So we have six, only six servers and use Capistone 2 for deployment. There are a mix of bug and job and uh, application process and batch, batch task. So it is complex architecture. Mm. It's my real intention. So our service has many issues for the scalable architecture. TV Media has a huge impact for web access in Japan. We need to find things. So do scale, uh, do scale with automation, do scale with rapid automation, do scale with extremely rapid automation. I plan to make scalable infrastructure to increase, increase application servers automatically. But our web, our web operation is manual instructions at that time. A typical scenario of server setup for scout following instructions. First, branch, branch Linux instance for a raw image. Modify basic configuration without dependency of raise application. Provision instance used by provision to prepare to 
deployment, deploy raise application and testing and attach the all of the servers to a load balancer. We have been created OS image called golden image from running server. It also name is a snapshot. Web operations such as OS configuration and instances branch a manual instruction by the developer. Its working time is about four to six hours. This result cannot scale out in TBCM and TV show time. It is broker for RASI scale out. We added a uh, no SSH rule into our team. I described the background of no SSH rule. So in large scale service, one server instance is, right, is like a one processes in Unix environment, I think. So we didn't attach process using ZDB usually. It means we do not access instance via SSH. We didn't modify program variables in memory usually. It means we do not change the configuration on instance via SSH. We can handle, we decided to handle instance status using API only. How about no SSH? Uh, one of two is Puppet. We prepared Puppet manifest with automation. However, it is sandbox status not for production environment. We need to fix all of Puppet manifest. Example issue are these things. Uh, it is based on uh, old scientific Linux. Uh, some manifest is broken. Uh, developer didn't know how to use Puppet in production. At first, I fixed all of the broken manifest and enabled to, to deploy production environment. Finally, we can understand our server configuration via code. So our manifest or writing number is uh, 5,500. We can use Puppet for standard provisioning too. However, one of its requirement is distribute manifest files each server. So we cannot deploy Puppet manifest each server because goal of our architecture is over the 100 servers. We choose master agent model for Puppet users. Puppet master B is a master server on agent mode with the puppet. Next two is a cloud init. We discover awesome operation tools. What cloud init? Cloud init is the default multi distribution package that handles the early initialization of our cloud instance. In fact, uh, we and you already use cloud init for customizing to OS configuration at initialization process on IaaS like uh, AWS and Azure and GCP. We solve the automation of OS configuration via cloud init. Cloud init has one of the significant problems. So cloud init has few documents for our use cases. Uh, no document. It's how customize basic configuration via cloud in it is like this. So this is uh, magical was a uh, sharp cloud config and the uh, rep update and rep upgrade inbox yum or app after update. It is refresh install the packages. Package section is going to install under the names. It installs uh, Git and the CR and and, uh, and it and uh, okay time zone uh, configuration of localization. 
You can modify configuration after boot time with adding this text to cloud in it. Our advice is uh, do not use run CMD section. Run CMD are invoking all commands like the shell script and gen tool and more. We separated responsibility of OS configuration and provision for a simple architecture. After that, we apply Puppet provisioning for application specific configuration. Like this. And finally, image creation with itself. It invoked by in, uh, instantly. Like this. In this case, we use IRS API for image creation with cloud in it, user data. User data can handle your shell script. We can automate to OS boot and OS configuration and provision and preparation of development. Next, uh, do scale out with rapid automation. I need to fix code on Rails application before automate it to deploy via Capistar. Upgrading Rails app. I like upgrading Rails application. Upgrading Rails 4. Uh, we still use the Rails 3 at that time, uh, two years ago. So I hope to use new API and the syntax and uh, component of uh, Rails 4. I decided and plan to upgrade Rails 4 before our uh, promotion of TV show. Deploying production was performed with my colleagues. Uh, he tried to four times uh, raise upgrading in everybody, body, body, but the hit to have hard works. Uh, moreover, we use Capistar tool. So we derive on Capistar two tasks to our Capistar three conversion. Because the same reason of raise upgrades. Capstone three tasks are simple like tasks. We can write our hooks and the task to write our rake DSL. And uh, our Rails application has a dependency of host names like this. Uh, host name start with job and host name start with host name start with. So it's a lot of uh, conditional calls. It break a uh, service host name. It, yeah, it break a uh, service because host name is uh, dynamically assigned when it scale out. We discarded the dependencies of host name and IP address like this code. We use only value fetched from uh, IS API. Next topic is Rails bundle. So we need to deploy Rails application without human deployment in booting time. We prepared to stand our Rails application files with RubyGem library and pre-compiled assets. We make this package be a capstone task like this. Like this. So it is part of the capstone task. Enjoy the directories and checking out Rails calls and involved to bundle install, MP install, bow install. And after library installation, it invokes pre compiled assets. Finally, compress power archive and uh, upload object storage like uh, S3 and clear up working directories. So it is uh, illustrated to our automated architecture of Rails deployment. So we create Rails bundle via Capistar and the upper storage. Uh, build server, build our uh, Rails packages and upload uh, S3. And our instances and the image creation server, the fetch Rails packages without deployment by human. How integrate image creation and Rails bundle? So we extracted Rails bundle when instance create a self image with a cloud in it. We added 
these instructions after puppet provisioning. So we can automate it or boot and configuration and provision and preparation of the application and the development of the Rails code. We can do it. So, uh, so how to test the instance behavior? So we need to uh, guarantee SP status from instance response. We remove the package version control from our concerns with behavior tests. We launch instances from an image created by automation. We test of HTTP behavior on single instance manually. We focus only the outside of servers. After test passes, so we launch uh, 100 servers from our image. We can scale out without uh, instructions by a human. Uh, after essential topic, we use Tor for image creation and manipulate IS API. We create subcommand on Tor created instance operation like this. Moreover, the center command of instance launch, launch is like this. So we can launch instance from a command of awesome to instance launch only. We create all of the web operation by a tool command. So we have no SSG rule. So write code and do operation. Write code and do operation. All of the web operations should be implemented by a Ruby code. So instance launch and uh, a scale up, do scale up, and do deploy verbal in deployment. So our uh, advice is uh, do not change main architecture first time. So example for uh, use Docker and use Google Platform. So software and service architecture is complete, too complex. So we need to uh, find things, uh, write uh, real world instructions, uh, pick uh, instruction for our automation. And after, uh, do automation. We can automate half instruction. Next. Uh, next issue is uh, do scale out with extremely rapid automation. So we can scale out with complete automation, but all of the time of image creation is a long time, like uh, one hour. I concern uh, bootstrap time, a typical scenario again. Uh, configuration and uh, provision, setting up, deploy, and add it attached to load balancer. So we need to enhance the bootstrap time extremely. So I grouped the, uh, these instructions. Uh, slow operation is our OS boot and the provisioning tool and the deploy razor applications. A uh, first operation is our uh, OS configuration and uh, setting up capital and attach to load balancer. I set it checkpoint of image creation. These are uh, pro, pro checkpoint one is our uh, provisioning with puppet. Checkpoint two is our uh, deployment or razor applications. I added a uh, concept of the two phase image strategy. I create these these images. First is official OS image. It is provided a platform like uh, AWS, Azure, and GCP, and OpenStack, and etc. Phase one is called minimal image. Minimal image have uh, only network configuration and the user creation and the installation of Puppet Chef and the platform CRI tools. Phase two image called the role specified image. It contains only boot, OS, and Rails application. 
without modifying configuration. We need to use only first two images for scale out and uh, preparation. It reduces our working time for image creation. So we cut uh, the, these images. We found a packer for our image creation. I described to our image creation tool of packer. I couldn't understand the use case of uh, packer at first time. I have used the cloud init and image creation used the IRS API. After that, uh, I understood use case of Parker. It is inside of image creation with Parker. Parker configuration is JSON format. We select instance size, block volume, and uh, CPU resource with a declaration of JSON value. Paka arrows invoking cloud in it. We use basic configuration of uh, operating system. Paka provision arrows invoking a uh, US shell script after cloud in it. Finally, Paka invoke image creation API itself. It is an example of Paka configuration for our MIMA image. So cloud init is here. It is the uh, same as uh, our first configuration. Moreover, well, provision is here, provision. But we need to set up provision into uh, YAML install, Puppet, and uh, Python PRP, and uh, elaborate CRI. This, this line are also changing the username of uh, sudo users. This line are also preserved hostname. If this configuration is true, CloudInt did not modify hostname every boot time. It is false, CloudInt modify hostname use a specific rule, like uh, IP address or uh, unique ID or uh, cloud platform every boot time. It is an example of packer configuration of web application image. Cloud init is only this one. We need to rename hostname on web application servers after boot it because we use over the 100 servers. It needs to have an uh, identical hostname. Provision is here. It invokes Puppet agent and fetches a razor bundle packages. Moreover, remove cloud init ID file, this line. So if you remove instance ID file like this, cloud init invokes their processes and the next boot time again. I describe integration tests with Packer use the shell provision. Packer allows multiple provisions. We test results of Packer running before image creation. We use server spec for test it like this configuration. It tests to confirm installation of packages, the location of RAID application, and the boot configuration of middleware and more. So I will describe the detail of server spec after a slide. So we can guarantee to launch from server image with packer and server spec. We created CLI2 with Tor for packer. Packer is simple, so simple. But we have much use case. Example for we have many roles like our web application server and batch server and worker server and proxy server and, and Etc. And we have two files images, so we didn't hope to ins ma make instruction manual describe the packer options. We can run packer over tall code with advanced option of packer, like this. Now we can create 
images for rapid automation via Packer. However, we are not enough for to scale out. We can only scale out to raise application server. So we need to scale out everything. Everything scale out. What's broker for scale out? I think these are brokers. Uh, depends on money and section of human. Second, uh, depends on host name or IP address architecture and tool. Depends on persistent server or workflow like a periodical joke. And depends on a persistent storage. It is a broker for our scale out. We need to use cloud oriented architecture. Moreover, adopt the next generation architecture aggressively. Uh, one of the two named the console. We use Nagios for monitoring to service and instance status. However, we have two issues. Nagios do not support dynamic scaled architecture. We need to add hostname to Nagios configuration on each server automatically. Also, Nagios have complex syntax and configuration. I never pass Nagios configuration one time. We decide to remove Nagios for service monitoring. After that, how to monitoring for service status without Nagios? We use concern and concern alert for process monitoring, like this. So it provides to discover to new instances automatically use the console and the alert mechanism with SAC integration. We set up console use the puppet for monitoring. When instance launches, console discovers cluster on our service and join it. We can monitor new instance automatically like this. Next. Uh, we use Bakari. We use Mooning for resource monitoring in test. However, Mooning does not support dynamic or scaled architecture too. We need to add our host name to Mooning configuration and deploy it each server. We decided to use Bakari instead of Mooning. So, Macari is made by Hatena Corp. Hatena, placed to Kyoto, is one of the web service companies in Japan. We discuss and feedback together for cloud-oriented monitoring to Hatena Corp. So it is a graph. This graph is all of the CPU resources in our application servers. It is too, too heavy rendering. You only add it API key and the role name to Macari agent conf. It works. Only works. Moreover, you can make your specific plugin for Macari. It is simple convention and compatible for uh, Mooney and Nagios. Many of Japanese developers made useful Macari plugin written by Emory and Golang and Ruby. Next topic is for MP. So we need to store access logs for our audit. So we must handle all of the servers, including the scale outage instances. We use the front D to collect and aggregate. Front D is a popular log collector written by Ruby. Do you know front D? So it has probable architecture. We can change plugins for our use cases. Our company prepared an uh, aggregate server for access log collector. This is configuration of Nginx on an uh, application server. This is. It monitors access log of Nginx and pushes to aggregate server uh, these sections. Correct and uh, push it. The Aggregate server handles these logs and store redundant local storage and send 
service of Hadith cluster named Treasure Data. It sent Treasure Data and store redundant storage. So next topic is uh, remove it to batch, batch server. Remove batch server. So we need to use batch role for scheduled like task. We have to create some payment transaction or send a promotion mail and indexing such items and more. We use Penaba, Penaba gem and clone process on the persistent state server. But it could not scale out Razi and it is a SPOF. I use Cytos Kick Scheduler and Console Cluster instead of a clone of above programs. Cytos Kick Scheduler allows a periodical job mechanism to Cytos Kick Server. But if you have multiple workers, all of the servers are promoted to NQ servers. We need to specify a uh, NQ server in Sidekick workers. I elected NQ server use the console cluster like this. So I will extract this mechanism to Ruby, Ruby gems after the this conference. Next topic is testing. So we need to test everything contained instance images and the puppet manifest and raise application. We need to test everything. We use Contra CI named the Doron CI. We use Doron CI on our OpenStack platform. We use Doron CI with Rails application. We need to separate Rails stack to following containers. First is Rails only Rails application. Second, Redis and MySQL and uh, ASIC search. We invoke concurrent test processes used uh, by test queue and the teaspoon. I try to our application on Docker now, but it is not production status yet. I we use only test environment. We use CI for Puppet Manifest. So it, we call it to Infra CI. We test the server status such as the list of install packages and the running processes and the configuration details uh, continuously. We can defect the Puppet Manifest aggressively using uh, the Doron CI and the server spec. Server spec is a uh, R-spec test for your servers configured by Provision 2. We can test with server spec after Provision the Puppet Manifest, like uh, Razor application. Therefore, we can replace Puppet Master D to Puppet Server. And, uh, we enabled our uh, future parser. We fixed all the warnings and the syntax error. So we added and uh, removed the manifest code every day, like our uh, raised applications. So every day, create and uh, edit it. And uh, we can switch scientific Linux 6 to CentOS 7, used by Infra CI. We added case condition for our uh, scientific Linux 6 and CentOS 7, like this. So we didn't feel fear, fair expectation for this OS changes. Moreover, we change all of the processes under the system D. We have then used the daemon tool or supervisor D to run background processes. However, we need to wait to invoke their processes. 
before invoking our application processes like Unicorn and Sidekick and other. We use systemd for invoking to our application process directly. It's so fast. So I finish preparing today's main theme of cross strategy development. We use Stretcher and Capistrano for normal deployment. We already finished to rapid scale out with pack and raise bundle. However, we need to deployment for code deploy every day, every time. Capistrano couldn't, couldn't deploy over the 100 servers because Capistrano needs to connect each server synchronously via SSH. Stretcher solves this issue. Stretcher pulls the asset file like a Rails bundle when it receives the console event. We add Stretcher to our application server and register console event for a Stretcher. We can deploy Rails application to all of the server when we only send we only send event to one server. We send one server. So console uh, send and pull uh, event and uh, switch uh, pulls a raise application automatically. We make a uh, capstone stretcher. Capstone stretcher. It is uh, integration to with capstone and stretcher. It provides following task for process deployment. Create a raise bundle archive file and put archive file to uh, object, storage, object storage like S3 and finally invoke console events each stage and each world. You can use process deployment by capstone stretcher and console and stretcher. I described the architecture of process deployment. So we invoke console, a capistrano on the local machine. Capistrano handles to make a raised bundle and upload it and notify console events. Build and put our application package and send a console event. When console has received that event, Invoke stretcher and pull latest Rails bundle packages and extract it and restart Unicorn itself. Console tells another server in a cluster. In a cluster. So it server handles the same instructions automatically and simultaneously. Persuasive deployment allows to handle multi data center deployment. We choose OpenStack now. So why OpenStack? So OpenStack has widely used a big company like uh, Yahoo and DNA and Entity Group in Japan. We need to reduce running cost of IaaS. AWS is uh, too expensive. So we try to build OpenStack environments on our parameter servers in our DC. But uh, this subject is a too large story. So I have no time about this topic uh, in Rails past week. I hope to talk at another conference uh, about this OpenStack migrations. Uh, so finally, we then cut running cost by 15% rather than uh, AWS the one. And we made Yao Cloud and tool integration. Yao is Ruby client for OpenStack. And uh, Pog, FOZ, Pog is already supported OpenStack. But Pog has huge dependencies. We didn't need to theirs. Yao likes a uh, simple client like AWS SDK or AWS. We can manipulate computer resources using Ruby with Yao, like this. We can deploy multi-DC in three minutes now. So 
I invoke Capistrano on my month in the same month. The Capistrano handle to make raise assets and upward and object storage is same. So console events sent to uh, OpenStack DC and AWS console cluster. So same instructions happens each DC simultaneously. So we can look to invoke stretcher deployment all of the servers, all of the servers in at the same time. The final topic is a burger in deployment. The basic concept is following instructions. Do you know burger in deployment? So run the instances using OS image created from Paka and join to load balancer. Create and join to load balancer. And wait to change us uh, in service status. Wait, wait, wait. And uh, finally terminate all the instances. That's all. So it allows OS upgrade and middleware upgrade like Ruby version for us with no downtime. We need to prepare dynamic upstream with the load balancer for burger deployment. I introduce our choices. First is ERB, ERB on AWS. It is provided by AWS, so it can handle only only AWS instances. But we use uh, we use OpenStack. We can't choose uh, ERB's one. So second is Nginx and the console templates. It changed upstream directive in Nginx configuration. Use the console, and console event and the console template. We choose this one in our OpenStack. Third is Nginx and Ruby. Nginx and Ruby allows changing upstream directive in Nginx process and memories. Use the MRV. We are evaluating it now. Console and the console templates can integrate Slack notifications like this. So if a person changes, so it notify notified our channel of Slack itself. We can monitor our upstream status. So we made burglary deployment on tall task like this. It puts uh, running. It puts instance number of all the instances. We invoke new servers using image contained red bundle. And it number is saved as all the instance counts like this. It it loop wait to run until all of the instances booting like this. Like this, wait, wait, loop, 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 loop. And finally, we remove all the instances from our load balancer and terminate there, like this. So we can look only new instances on our services. So, summary. summary. So, we can handle TVCM and the TV show used to uh, scale our servers. And we can enhance infrastructure every day. We can deploy RAID application over the 100 servers every day. So we can upgrade the operating system and the Ruby versions and the middleware versions every day. So, yes, we can. That's all. Thank you.